Hello and welcome to our service of nine lessons and carols. It's not in a formal setting this year and people aren't dressed formally but it will be a traditional service so I hope you enjoy it and being at home you'll be able to sing along as well. Once the service starts there'll be no further interruptions we'll just go from one item to the next but a special thanks to Peterborough Cathedral Choir for providing the hymns for nearly everything today. The bidding prayer. Beloved in Christ, this Christmas season it is our duty and delight to prepare ourselves to hear again the message of the angels and to go in heart and mind to Bethlehem and see the things which is come to pass and the babe lying in a manger. Therefore let us hear again from Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purposes of God from the first days of our sin until the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child. And let us make this house of prayer glad with our carols of praise. But first, because this of all things would rejoice Jesus' heart, 
let us pray to him for the needs of the whole world and all his people. For peace upon the earth he came to save. For love and unity within the one church he did build. For goodwill among all peoples. And particularly at this time, let us remember the poor, the cold, the hungry, the oppressed, the sick, and them that mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, and all who not the Lord Jesus know, or whom love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore and in a greater light. That multitude which no one can number, whose hope was in the Word made flesh, and with whom is this Lord Jesus, we for evermore are one. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer unto the throne of heaven in the words that Christ himself has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Genesis chapter 3, starting at verse 8. Then the man and his wife heard a sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? The man said, the woman, put, the woman you put here with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree, so I ate it. Then the Lord said to the woman, what, what is this you have done? The woman said, the serpent deceived me, and I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, cursed you all ab above the livestock and all the wild animals, you crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all of the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head and you will strike his heel. To Adam he said, because you listened to your wife and ate from the tree about which I commanded you, you must not eat of it. Cursed is the tree, the ground because of you. The painfully toil you will eat of it all the days of your life. By the sweat of your brow you will eat the f your food until you return to the ground, since from it you were taken. For dust you are, and dust you return. Thanks be to God.
Genesis 22, 15 to 18. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham from heaven a second time and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will surely bless you and make your descendants as new numerous as stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore. Your descendants will take possession of the city, cities of all of their enemies and through your offspring all nations on earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me. Thanks be to God. taken from Isaiah chapter 9 verses 2, 6 and 7. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death a light has dawned. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness. From that time on and for ever, the zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Thanks be to God.
Isaiah 11, 1 to 7. A shoot shall come out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, and the spirit of wisdom and understanding, a spirit of counsel and might, and a spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see, nor decide by what his ears hear. But with righteousness he shall judge the poor, and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and the little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, the young will lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox.
fifth lesson, take from Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favoured one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God. lesson is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 to 7. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem the town of David because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Thanks be to God.
Luke chapter 2, verses 8 to 20. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You'll find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to men on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what they had been told about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Thanks be to God. Matthew chapter 2 verses 1 to 12 After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him 
When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all of Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all of the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Christ was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler, who will be the shepherd of my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and make a careful search for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. It's 
A reading from John chapter 1, verses 1 to 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shined in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born, not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. Thanks be to God.
May Almighty God bless us with divine grace. Christ give us the joys of everlasting life. And unto the fellowship of the citizens above, may the King of Avenues bring us all. Amen. May the Christ, who by his incarnation, gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, fill you with the sweetness of inward peace and goodwill, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among upon us and remain with us always. Amen. Go forth in peace and joy. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. And a very happy Christmas to you all.